or or one of your two either mid lane or bottom lane carry super fed the ideal scenario also revolves around level one Another. getting topic around uh well we might have some action so there there could be some rush but Bottom lane focus is the name of the game. Even if they just get summoner spells without dying, this and is a pretty packs. big win. That is a lot. That is really well played. Poom far enough back after the flash that he lands the binding into the trap into a lot of damage. Kondrax here, pillars to spot out. Oh, Jose Diodo does not get slowed down by that one. Goes into the trade on Trundle. Janna's still top lane right now, taking a recall. And Contracts is just gonna drop! First blood in the bot lane, 3v3! Contracts, they get the kill, they get the flashes as well. Now, you've got the problem, here comes Janna. She's gotten her level three absorbed from top side, and it's gonna be Dude, bottom a pain! A flash for the Janna, that's gonna be a kill, a snipe from downtown. Johnson claims his second. The save the trees from the original fly quest. Kumo though, he's trying to uh, ensure that this jungle area stays in their control. No problem for him to pop up in the first place. Full control here remains. Kumo still hovering around. Another blast comb, another attack on Bob. Decent damage though, back onto Johnson. They're gonna try right now. Here we go. A uh, good sidestep by Kondrak getting away from the W, but it's a five versus three. The squad is coming down. He may lose some tower damage, but you are gonna kill this Lux. Turret right now, they are earning gold back. Question is, does the tower dive do anything? Four to the top lane right now. No TP up for the mid. But they are walking in for this one, going for the damage, and they're gonna just knock down contracts. He walks in in full vision and just gets deleted. And they're not done, freak. They've got Rift Herald in hand. Still hovering up on this top side. Oh, you see Palfox coming up through lane to try and help out with this wave clear. Meanwhile, Takui actually went back mid. So he thinks they've got it covered without the Zoe presence, and it gets dicey. Uh, health bar is low, and that's gonna be the rest of the burn. Jose Diodo, thank you for the red buff. Yeah, and the red. It's, it's, it's looked pretty solid here for the squad. As, uh, they are gonna be grabbing the second dragon, no problem. 10 minutes 55 on the board, there we go. A solo team fight with the control of a Janna. And when yep. you're trying to team fight as a Graves into Janna, well, never mind. We got a play on a Palafox, half HP, flashless, as Jose Diodo drops the aggro, the burn comes through, and that is a kill picked up. Good shield from Janna. Okay. Chasing down Nakuma will be deleted. That is a very... Uh, now he's deal. asleep, though. Could almost be an outright kill, but as Contract shows up, they're gonna force this to charge and share gold among the team, but that is a deletion, zero and four. Contracts just getting torn up here. Still legally binding as FlyQuest gets their ranges gold. him. Janna and Zoe and Jin. So FlyQuest want to force these, you know, bottom side things still. Your hope Meanwhile, is that you avoid their long range engage and all of the skill shots we were talking about, all the pick that they have, and you're able to wave clear. But Hope is not enough, the pick land. That is a great stun and a great kill set up by Aphromoo and knocked down Jenkins seconds with the team. Really good advantage from CLG moving in off of the recall. FlyQuest laps a bit on the their of this through so many games uh, through lock-in as well. So again, cross the map on the top side. Wow, Ooh. big damage, not quite a kill. Flash to save the Ritukui trying to stay alive. Just barely running away, okay. Hey, everyone's going to live. Top tower, died Rift Herald. Second tower gonna be attacked by that same Herald as Jenkins cross maps onto the bottom side. Will kill bot tier two, but top tier one and two were killed as well. CLG answer to mid, getting mid outer. Herald's gonna crash in the, the top. best success for the Janna top sides are when the Janna top is paired with a bottom lane that is like a Jinx Lulu. And you have full Comet and Zen ultimate, both creating space for the long range abilities here to Koi. Even without landing the sleeps, they pressure the, the team following. 100%, I feel like there's the sleep, and that should be just in time. Night, night. There's the rest of the squad. Be careful, Janna Kumo, <laughs> no! That was simply too aggressive. You were guaranteed the kill. That is a very large mistake. The donated way back. smites down right now. Bring it down. It's gonna be tough. Down to 2k health. This could be the easy play. Jose Diodo should have no problem getting the smite and getting the third drag, but they turn it for the battle instead. Dive to the front line, but the ulti is down. Could be sniped, but no. First contracts will die. 700 health on the dragon. Shot, shot, and claim. Third dragon on the board for FlyQuest, plus the kill in the team. Yep. Has to keep finding a side lane to walk towards. And, and it's up to the rest of the squad to like give him the necessary ward control, make sure it's gonna be safe enough. I'm actually, hold on, we got a Baron play. Talk about wards and such later because Baron's being attacked and Happily on this other map, Jenkins is just hitting turrets right now. Lux ults for some vision. It is a 4v5 at best, but it will be an inhibitor, and maybe Nexus turrets traded. How many backs can they stop? We have seen CLG play around bases before. Four minutes ago, when the bottom inhibitor was killed, when Jenkins flip pushed that down, that's what allowed the dragon to come through, and once again, CLG.
to get out of the snare and dodge the rest of the bullets, but he's not out of the water TP yet. Flint coming in. Yeah, you can flash this corner. No, you might not. S finally gets away from it, but still being attacked. Just gets away from Tukoi. Gets a quick shield. And he's just got to keep dodging the bullet hell. They're still coming for him. I'm sorry, you're underneath the Gromp cues for a heal. Takes a second, and then finally goes. Great. The Baron's still at 7k. Contract has smite, has Zolt. Is not threatened here whatsoever. And the now he's TP come in. They're trying to kill him. You got Tukui burning the stopwatch. Palafox is here, finds the kill. And it's time for FlyQuest to run away as fast as they possibly can. Trying to stop the recalls, trying to go for the base if it's possible here. Because they want to knock down FlyQuest base. CLG, a pair of solos. I've seen it before in the LCS finals. And they're doing it here. They don't play into the base trying to make it happen. But for now, they've got to wait down. And this is going to be a chase. They are faster than Jenkins. Flash Flash slow, flash! Oh, the bump over, but the ulti pushed them away, finds the slow. They're still trying for a bit more, and Jenkins is two autos from dead. Four shot will kill. There's the flash forward. There's the execution. The cross map, how good can it really be? It's a 4v3 for now, but reinforcements are coming for FlyQuest. Jose can always W the Baron and jump in for a steal. 1700, here's the possible smite fight, and it's gonna be claimed, El Contracts is gonna get it. Is it going to be enough though? Is Jose Diodo on the front side, forced out, and Palafox executes Afromu. Is it gonna be enough though? They're gonna kill the jungler, yes they will. Luger gets another. They're not done, Freak! The ultimate's come to force! Done! Finds contracts! Again, CLG who owned the control. This one, mid lane pushed in so far, and no one can go in the graves that it's constantly two who after Getting there early to set up possible gravity well plays and trap plays at these objectives. CLG now are also on Dragon Soul. them as a favorite to make playoffs here in spring. And we'll see if they can make this one happen so far with the win over FlyQuest. But first, in the bottom side is They're a Taking that risk doesn't even give you a benefit. One minute, 12 seconds left oh, on this Afro. dragon. And Afro just popped. 1v1. So and now comes down to the dragon soul. Jenkins is dashing over the wall. Genalty pops up, gets out. They find the stun on Jose Diodo. Ulti's for safety. They dive in the melee range, force the flash out. Is it going to be enough now as Aframu holds the front line, but his health bar drops rapidly. Stays alive for now. Health bar's getting quite low. The poke comes in. They got him. Johnson flies in for the double kill and just starts taking him out behind the barn. Three picked up. Dragon Soul goes to fly quest. That's Dragon Soul and that's right back up though. And they land those picks. Johnson from the outside finishes the kill. The late game Jin burst damage finally comes through. Yeah. Aaron will remain for three more minion waves with a little bit to spare. You see top side moved up there by Takoi, so he gets to finish off this turn. Remember, all the way back, every wave has a cannon, so it's another buff cannon. It is more eventual damage, guaranteed shots, and the turret falls almost exclusively to Baron buffed cannon minions. Now we've got two open inhibitors. Bots respawned long ago as FlyQuest knocked down number one. They can look for number two. It's very hard to defend this one against a Baron buff, against a 5v5 comp, and against no tower, or with no tower, I should say. So FlyQuest indeed walk up, channel and tornado. And zone control continues as the end of the Red Bull Baron power play. 2,600 gold so far. Double inhibitor hoping to be the prize. So far looking pretty good. Afro staying far back. Looking again at some poke. Looking at a couple of shots against the shields. And there we go. Double inhibitor down. Play where Aframu catches out, split pushing Victor, kills Palafox, and opens up a play. That is so much more difficult for Poom to pull off. Sure, and until that happens, nothing, nothing goes in for CLG. Good poke. They are down pretty low. And now to look for the attempt to stun the back lane, just, wow, deleted. Two coin commitment. So they forced Jenkins back. Now CLG bottled up forever here, and FlyQuest aren't gonna let him out easy. Redemption, not as a ton of healing back in, thanks to the Janna. Heal and shield power stacking up, the flash stun. Remove. Yeah, it's a 5v4, good by Late game Zoe damage. Two shot in two spells, and it's time to end the game. No top lane wave, but mid is here. Superman is on board as well. Johnson, Deadly Flourish, doesn't quite find that kill. But we're gonna find the rest of it now. Here we go. On to the final turrets, and still four seconds of contracts is up. Tornado comes around, first turret down, and oh, that is a deletion. Jenkins gets enough done. With the jungler respawning, it's a 4v4. It's a possibility, it might be enough. They're still diving in though, and they've got the shots. Johnson taking him down yet again. Stun and a Luger cleanse it away. Trying again for the fight, 3v4. CLG could maybe have a hope here. But they've got 20 seconds, the mid laner comes back up. 
Yeah, so much burst damage and so many things to dodge on the side of CLG. Luger, boom, contracts against four. They try out the Diodo. He's got no ult. He's got some healing as the frontline Toronto tries to wear him down. Trick getting lower and lower, but Johnson on a reload and dies. The snipe comes in. The shutdown's in. Jose Diodo falls as well. <laughs> CLG double kill, but they don't have any ways to push just to take the base away. Keep in mind, triple inhibitor down. It is so hard to leave your base. Baron spawns just now. Do they even have the chance to play for it is the question. Walk towards Baron. Bot lane, still a problem. Yeah, Powerbox did not use his teleport, and he's with the rest of the team already. They can walk up 7,000, 6,000. This timer's short. This timer's short, because the bottom is still being pushed in. No one's answering just yet. Baron claimed. How about Flight Quest? What can happen now? Because they're going to find that first kill in a second. They will try to knock down Contracts. After we're getting a bit low, does not die. Jin Whoa. puts a kill on a Trundle. One for over Flight Quest. The bot way's still pushing in. Summoners coming across now. Look at the second kill. Graves trades one back as Afro is down. Jose Diodo finds a second one. But guess what in the bottom side? Jose Diodo had to get down there. He is on to the Nexus. They might win the fight. Too quick to make it happen. And that's going to be the game. Fly Quest. bring out the Janet Top and Fly Quest take down CLG. What a banger. Yes. First game of Smite Janet Top in the LCS. And it is FlyQuest first.